before. It's a big day and everybody's off. We've got a new course. Agassi Kiaku, I think it's pronounced. But, you know, who knows. Uh, we're going to play the inward nine. So did the outward nine yesterday. We'll play the inward nine today. Uh, regular T's normal cups, but I've got it in lone elite mode. So you can see that little H symbol, which means it's locked my club skill at max. Um, and it's given me 7.2 metres of wind. Um, so this is the new mode, the new sort of single player challenge mode. You get a set scorecard. Um, so if you look in your... Well, I can't look now, but if you look in your profile, you can see all the scores you've got on these, these setups. So we're going to give it a go. But 7.2 metres of wind is going to be fun. So custom clubs won't help you here. No balls, no weird clubs, no weird balls. You're just going to play with the standard kit and a fixed level of skill. So I've got it in high because we may as well start gently. I mean, playing this in low would be ridiculous. And we'll see how we get on. But, um, yeah, I think I'm enjoying this course. I mean, it's tough, don't get me wrong. But I think it is playable. And there's lots of interesting parts of it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the hell did that do? I'll t lose a shot there. All right. And as you can see, the slope of these things is ridiculous. The ball just goes everywhere. So you've kind of got to think about, not just about the shot, but where it's going to land and what it's going to do after it's landed. I'll take the drop shot here. I mean, I was having a, a good session with Tornado Clubs earlier. And just throw in the ball at the hole, and that's fine. But when you've actually got to stop it on the green and put it in the hole, it's a different story. So you see, I get a little H next to my name because we're in hard. Or high, sorry. So one over. Uh, there's no way we're getting anywhere close to that green from here with that wind. Never mind the height. So we'll play it. There's a little bit of fairway here, but again, it's so high up. Just not sure I'll get to it. Not with that wind. So I'll just play over here, I think. And see what I can do. Masterful. But yeah, it's the little details on here. The scenery's really nice. The trees are good. The water looks superb. Look how far that's going to go left into that bunker. That's ridiculous. You've got to sort of bang it into the bank, I think. So 70 to go, into the wind. But yeah, this is a, a proper challenge of a course. There's no free shots on here. You've got to earn all of them. Look at that, see? Pitched it's just gone all the way over there. Ridiculous. So we get a chip. And the sort of the altitude as well. So all the shots you want to play, got it. Got the birdie. All the shots you want to play, you've got to think about the altitude and the wind and the slope and the rocks and the trees. It's a proper test. It's a proper test. So wind's gonna blow back away. With the customs, I mean, you can get right down to the green, but with these clubs, not so much. Definitely don't want to be left under the tree, but the, the wind's going to blow me right. So we'll aim left. Hopefully the wind will bring us back right. Oh, I hit the rock, I think. No, I hit the pagoda or the tree. Oh, where's that gone? Yeah, so I'm left, which is where I didn't want to be. Look at the gauge. Although I've got a shot, so it's okay. Didn't get the flyer, which is important. Suzuki doesn't like it. I think it's going to need a bounce off something. Out of bounds? Yeah. Oh, I'll have another go with that then. I've got a rattle on the way out. Jeez, that's tough. Uh, can we chip this in? Nice save. Oh, nearly got it. Nearly got it. Got the gimme though. Oh wow, this course is tough. Especially if they're gonna whack the wind up like that. The bus hole, as I like to call it. 
So you've got to hit it over the bus. Now, it doesn't matter where I've pitched this on the right. It's bounced left. So I'm hoping with a bit of wind, it's going to bring it back for me. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, just kicks left. That's all right. That's all right. I'll take that. That's a makeable chip. Again, chipping. There's so much altitude. You've got to get him just... I oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Take the par. I mean, we were playing... We played a stream this evening. And um, we were playing traditional rules. And you get sort of two... Oh, you get like a minute and a half, I think, for par three. We just ran out of time. Because you've got to take so much care. It's a 14, par four. Three fairways to go for. This one just wants to collect you into there. This one's got a nice flat top, so I'm going to play for that one. I'm going to hopefully get on it. Missed it. Might be alright. You can see the wind acting on the ball, though. Oh, we might have just gone left off it. Ah, too far left. Okay. So, enormous bunker catches there. All the wind in the world. Let's try and play a little bit more side spin into it. Try and hold it. Oh. oh, the boards. Oh, I've got a drop. That's a bit of luck. That's a bit of luck. I think you've got to find a way that you don't need a bit of luck on this course. That's not a bad shot. Oh, see, look at that ridge on that green. How on earth are you supposed to do this? Some of the green. I mean, you're better off actually pitching rather than um, putting. Let's come back. It's like crazy golf. I've got the same shot again. So I'm going to have to putt it harder to get it over the top. This is going to race past. Oh. Look how far. Oh, my days. I'm convinced chipping's the solution to many of these things. If you're not within about six foot, you just can't make the putts. Or I've got to massively improve my putting. I might have to change my um, 10 tips on putting video to um, play this course. Triple bogey, five over. Wow. This is elite mode, though. It's the ultimate challenge. So I did find a decent strategy here, which is just smack it into that bunker and chip it. I mean, it's not sexy and it's not. There's no finesse involved. But at least you get a shot. The problem being, because it slopes front to back, you put it in the um, you put it on the green, and it will roll back off it. All right. Out would be good. Ugh. Needed more. Needed much more on it. And this is still a tough chip. Get in! Oh. Nearly. It's a par three as well. Looks like it slopes up. Breaks to the left. I mean, this is by far the most challenging course on here. But I think you can score on it. You're just gonna have to learn all the little nuances. Six over. So sixteen. If you've got custom clubs, this is a condor. You can go hit it over there. Uh, I haven't got custom clubs today, so we're gonna be playing it into this wall here. The problem being trying to make it stick. Yeah. So we're almost deliberately playing it into the out of bounds zone like that. The problem is it comes down with too much pace and it goes off the other side. That's in the wall. Oh, held. It held. Wow. And then we're just going to smack it. Zero finesse. Let's see if we can find some fairway up here. Yeah, good shot. Go on, find the fairway. But see how it's just the right distance? That narrow choke point. So you've got to be super accurate. It's well laid out. They've clearly sat down and thought this course through. All right. Approach wedge. Still in this hole. Okay, 
Can we get close enough to get an actual birdie putt? We can. Look at that. See, if, you, if you're accurate and you play your shots properly, you can make birdies on this course, even with standard clubs. Nice birdie. Back to five over. You just just got to get rid of those mistakes. It's a par four. A lot of the courses you can make a mistake, and you, like Eagle City, you can miss hit stuff, and it just doesn't matter. You miss a shot on here, you're gonna pay. In fact, you can hit a shot well on here, just be unlucky and pay. So I think this this will improve your game by. F yeah, that's all right, because you're gonna have to learn. No sloppy technique. It's a 226. The problem here has been drifting down the right. So the wind is going to be about there. This is going to be a five wood. Really? Can I hit a, yeah, it's a power shot three? Let's try and get some semblance of control over the thing. Wind will turn it over. I don't mind being in that back bunker if I'm honest. Hit the green. See, it just pitched off the green because of the slope. Just gotta figure this out. Alright. But it's nice to have a hard course again. Because, like, Imperial's kind of your medium course, and Pine Hills is your hard course. But I kind of like this. Right, come on. We can make this. We can make this. Oh, but see how far... I've <laughs> got another one. Get another chip. You can't afford to miss them. There we go. Bogey. Yeah. Got to get rid of the mistakes. It's 18. Oh, I want to go for this shot, but the wind's not going to help me. Oh, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Come on. I'm trying to get a bounce. So I'm trying to get a bounce off those rocks. Either to the left or straight on. There you go. Oh, I ended in the bunker, but that's not awful. Oh, that's quite close to the front, though. Look at the gauge. Oh, that's unplayable. Oh, feels bad. So there's no way. What? <coughs> Excuse me. I say there's no way. No, there's no way you can bend it around that tree. What can we do? We can go three wood round here. Of like the, the wind starts to move, and then the spin takes over. It's quite a nice little touch. Oh, I just ended up in a little hollow. So 120 out of the rough. This is going to be a tough shot. Got to not turn it over. Yeah, it's going to be just off. That's all right. I think I'd have to chip. Can we finish with a good one? Oh, I'm going to have to make my chipping skills better. I mean, this with teeny cups. I don't even want to think about that. So we're going to finish eight over. Seven over. But I have an elite score now, look. I've got an elite score. You only get them, you can only see them, sorry, on um, official. So when you've got teeny or normal cups. Look at that, I hit one green, two fairways on 47, 44% impacts. This is tough, man. This is tough. Just tough. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more of Everybody's Golf.